Hello my friends, today we have yet another product of Adafruit industry and this time this thing called Adafruit It's a BC NRF5284 So this is another um, development board from Adafruit and this time it has Bluetooth module in comparison to the one I reviewed earlier. So I got it recently for one, yet another project of mine and um, I'd like to see if this is feasible for what I want to do but it's actually looking quite promising and technically if you just need very simple Bluetooth communication with your um, a microcontroller which does some specific tasks it's better to use something small like this um, and uh, and if you don't need if you don't care about any other things like accelerometer a magnetometer display and buttons this is gonna be perfect um, I have um, a review of other fruit clue which is quite capable but quite big and powerful device at the same time and has some extra features which in some projects may not be needed or may not be necessary so we need something smaller, something less powerful and um it doesn't have that many features obviously it would be much much cheaper this little unit I got from Adafruit it's obviously not sponsored I do everything on my own dime um, I paid for it 17 American dollars and I think if you compare it with any other devices this is really good price okay so let's take a look on it gonna open it up nicely all right this is some sort of unboxing let's say all right so what do we have right out of the box we have two DuPont headers over here which we not gonna look at and this little, little tiny device which measures uh, 35 by 18 millimeters and it's very light it weighs about like five or six grams my scale can couldn't even register it properly so what is what we have here so this heart of this little device is other fruit uh, this other fruit it's a bit of device is a Nordic semiconductor NRF 52840 so this dude is a Bluetooth low energy um, chip but it, it also has uh, Cortex M4 so it uh, with floating point like as it's not th this again this is a snapshot straight from their website they just like a copy and uh, printed it out with some small edit so this is 32 uh, quite powerful 32 um, bit microcontroller obviously runs 3.3 volt logic so obviously saves some power and it runs at 64 megahertz which is quite 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 fast it has one megabyte of flash 1024 kilobyte of flash 256 kilobyte of ram which is awesome like you can do many many things and obviously big chunk of it gonna take like uh, uh, for example bluetooth stock and things like that but still this particular one has also two megabytes of QSPI flash chips. So this is to store some, I guess, data logs and particularly circuit thicket, circuit Python codes to storage. I'm not going to be using it with circuit Python, but this is awesome. You can have it, and we're going to see in details where this chip is located. So this thing's uh, this uh, I guess bootloader um, supports USB stack. Uh, so it's here, you, you have to bootloader and uh, so this thing can run as a USB key and you can just drop files on it with a Arduino or a CircuitPython. So this is 2.4 Bluetooth low energy device and obviously they refer, go and check for any specifics in the 52840 product specification. This is a certified module so you can use it in your product because there is a certification. Uh, power 8 plus 8 dBm, it's awesome. So, the, so now is much more interesting thing. So this thing has 21 GPIO over here, six of them are 12 bit ADC pins which is amazing so this little dude uh, has 12 bit is 4096 uh, this, the ADC is 12 bit and by default it uses 0 0.6 volt um, uh, reference voltage with gain 1.6 so yeah it's it's able to register uh, voltages from 0 to 3.6 volt which is actually perfect for the purposes what I want to use it for so six ADC pins 12 
pulls with modulated outputs, which is amazing as well. This is a lot. This thing can control like shitload of stuff actually. And uh, I know these modules, these three output is, but what, from what I read, uh, this thing can, can like any almost pretty much any pin can be um, uh, configured as pulse with modulated on this board, any GPIO pin. It has a red LED, which I don't even know where it is. Somewhere I see blue LED over here. It says blue, but I don't see the red LED. Anyways, um, and it has mini dot star LED for colorful feedback. So um, as far as I remember, a red LED connected to pin three, and there is also blue LED. I don't know what that really means. Ah, oh, maybe when Bluetooth is activated, maybe you can see the blue LED. But this is all like in details, whatever. So the another very quite good and notable feature of this particular Itzy Bitsy from Adafruit that it has high output that can drive five volt logic devices. So they uh, use they using um, level converter from. Uh, 3.3 volt logic to 5 volt logic just to make sure your 5 volt logic sensitive devices like and this I mentioned NeoPixel servers they are running fine because sometimes they can not run fine I actually never experienced that even my NeoPixel actually handles 3.3 uh, volt more or less okay haven't seen issues but Possibly even the servers I tried with different board which is 3.3 base logic it still works fine But like it's still really really nice to have feature so but it is only output It's not bidirectional. It is only output not gonna I'm not gonna sure it's uh, I couldn't find any information here is the pin 5 any information on Is it bidirectional or not and can you apply a uh, input voltage in it and what's gonna happen it has to be like 3.3 volt has to, can be 5 volt so this is something I will um, discover for myself or run some experiments to see what's gonna happen uh, they mentioned again native USB support and can be used with Arduino ID and circuit Python and it's pretty small size I think this is this is um, pretty neat set of features for um, you know, for seventeen dollars. Uh, so if, when you compare with competitor competitors, so a competitor would be Arduino Nano Thirty Three, I think BLE. This is uh, how it got uh, from whatever I remember, and it's really really similar device to this one. It costs a little bit more, and uh, I think it costs like twenty five or twenty four dollars. And so for the set of features, I think they are very very comparable. So if you want to save some money, this is gonna be great for you. So let's take a look a little bit closer on this device. So here we are, there is zoomed in view on, um, on the device. So um, obviously the very first thing you can notice, this is this uh, module, which is probably contains inside all necessary uh, microcontrollers and Bluetooth uh, related business and has onboard antenna and this little probably BGA sort of array and it's sold it straight on this PCB. So this is heart of this microcontroller or this is heart of this development board. Also we have micro USB over here which obviously communicates to the computer or to other devices and also powers the, uh, the thing. Uh, we have buttons, one of them is reset, so it's just uh, grounds the reset pin of the microcontroller to reset uh, the microcontroller and either switch it to programming mode or run your code, rerun re your program. Also there is a, a button which uh, you can programmatically use, this is switch and it's connected to D4, so you can use it in your code, nah, depends. For debugging probably, for poking around. It has LED one over here and dot star LED over here and I still can find this famous red LED Don't know where hell it's supposed to be unless this is this one We're gonna power this device with you and we're gonna see what's going on But let's continue. So there's a whole bunch of analog uh, Inputs on this side. There is also 3 volts enable is probably power enable and we high uh, we high this thing can be connected to uh, a battery so this is going to be battery power essentially S um, then there is an analog there is uh, also spi pin out over here and d2 uh, also there is i think they mentioned that these pins a0 to 
a5 and d2 they are slow uh, pins like up to 10 kilohertz so if you need something faster you can you have to use some other pins so let's take a look at the top there is a battery connector G problem it's ground USB power is gonna be 5 volt or whatever uh, there is a whole bunch of digital ones over here and uh, there is um, this special one number 5 D5 uh, which uh, can do 5, uh, five volt uh, logic so again, I have to verify if it's just output or input and output for 5 volt. Uh, judging by schematic, it's just uh, one transistor over there. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't have schematic. Judging by the how um, um, components are uh, oriented here, uh, what components they are using. So there is also uh, I square uh, C over here and the serial. So this is zero and one. Usually, typically zero and one is stereo. TX and RX for serial communication. So let's take a look on the bottom. In addition, uh, sorry, let's go, that's not yet. Uh, there is also crystal for this um, uh, microcontroller. And now let's take a look at the bottom. So at the bottom, we have a little bit of going on here. First of all, um, we have uh, some power regulation stuff. So I assume uh, this thing is 3 volt power regulation with some protection over here. Uh, those are supposed to be Zener diodes. For some reason they also output D plus and D minus for USB. Uh, whatever reason it is. Um, also they have as quad SPI memory and here it is so this little tiny chip over here is quad SPI 2 megabit memory it's awesome so this transistor I assume or this actually looks like a voltage regulator to me yeah I need to trace this pin out and see what is this dude what this dude is about uh, because this clearly uh, VRAG over here and this one I really really hard to tell so I, I will do some research to see what is this uh, potentially this is related to the um, V high out so yeah so V high is probably assigned here. This is the high voltage, like up to six volt. And I guess this is gonna be um, shifted to this V high level. So I need to figure out the circuit exactly what, what it's involved. This is pretty much it on this side. It is also um, two pins which can be connected, used with debugger, or if you wanna flash your own bootloader, so you can use that, probably need to like solder something in here. Um, yeah, this is really simple from what I see right now and the device is actually quite promising, especially that it has um, uh, enabled us to use Bluetooth 4 LE for our projects. So let's try to power this device and see what it does straight out of the box. Okay, I'm gonna connect 5 volts right there. And that's what we have. It blinks some colors. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, it's nice. Dot star LED. Uh, I, by the way, dot star LED also has uses some GPIO pinouts. It's like I think pins six and eight, and they are not wired right there, as you notice. So they they are specifically designed for this dude. Very nice. It works. Perfect. Uh, hilariously, I do not see red LED unless it's no. Nope. I see only blue. Probably was some sort of uh, miscommunication on the. Let me double check. Maybe I misread it. Oh, this piece of paper. Red LED. Yeah, well, we have blue LED. Blue is good too. Anyways, uh, I think this is pretty much it, guys. Um, I think I love this product already. Stay tuned for my project. It's going to involve this um, little device and some other little devices that I reviewed earlier. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.